Hi there, I want to welcome you to my course, um, MA205 Elements of Statistics. I am Cindy Roberts. You'll be with me for a little while, right? You're excited? I know you're excited. Okay, so let's just, this part, kind of go over the syllabus to make sure you understand everything you need to do right away. One of the very first things you need to do is purchase the materials needed. Um, you kind of have some choices. I will tell you the difference is price. When you buy the my stat lab and that is required and you only buy it online from the publisher, okay, and you could just go to mystatlab.com, then you get an ebook inside of this lab. Some students want an actual either loose leaf or a hard copy text. So I leave that up to you. Don't buy all three of these, only get one of them because each one of them will come with the actual my stat lab access code but then you're you know it's up to you can you deal with an ebook um, or you know do you want to have an actual actual textbook all right so that's that here's my email how to contact me I'll be in definitely in contact with you that's this telephone right here so you can feel free a lot of students today text me a lot that's fine with a picture hey Cindy can you help me work this and I hope you enjoy this course because statistics is everywhere right what's the probability it's gonna rain I'm gonna win the lottery my Cowboys I'm, I'm located in Texas in case you didn't know um, we're gonna win the Super Bowl stop laughing <laughs> But I, I, there is so much data out there these days in every field of study. So I know you'll find something in this course. You're like, hey, that's pretty cool. We do things where um, later in the course we do predictions where maybe we want to predict something going on in the future. We do tests where we test maybe what a brand, a company is telling us. So lots of, lots of different things that you'll learn in this course. And of course, of course, of course, of course, <laughs> you can read through all the, re the requirements, the learning objectives, and so on. So let's get down to the good stuff, right? So the good stuff here is everything that is in the lab, so assignments, quizzes, and tests, okay? That's why you have to get into the actual lab, um, have due dates, okay? And always make them Sunday by midnight. And one thing you definitely need to remember, like on homework, you get unlimited tries. You can work the problems over and over and over, okay, and just hit some Mueller exercise as long as it's completed by the due date. Now, the quiz, you get three chances. Well, if it's due Sunday at midnight, I probably wouldn't wait Sunday at 11 because you may only get one chance. You know, so I, you know, get started on the reading, the homework early. Maybe by Friday, you can have one attempt at the quiz. If you do poorly, you can do another attempt um, on Saturday. And then finally, your third attempt on, on Sunday. Um, and your test, you only have one attempt. And these are the only thing that's timed. Everything else is not timed, except it has to be turned in by the due date. And so your test, you have a two-hour limit. So, you know, be sure it's quiet and everything. And then the final exam has to be proctored. So what, what you will do, you will see in here, is you will find either a place, you know, locally. Uh, a lot of students will go to a local university, um, you know, or we have our, at, at our library, okay, here at Colby, uh, you'll see all the information. You just go through and you pick, and it gets, I look at it and approve it. And then that's the only test that has to be in front of somebody, okay? Everything else you're doing in your pajamas at home, right? But the final exam has to be proctored. I'll bug you a bunch about this to be sure uh, you get this form turned in from me. Um, attendance policy, it's not like I can sit here and take roll, right? Because you can log in anytime you want, 2 o'clock in the morning. But I will be looking at things like, well, if you're not completing things on time, if it's Sunday morning and you haven't even started the homework for the week, I'll probably bug you a little bit. Um, this isn't online. A lot of students get in their head that, oh, I can just put everything off on, on, until the weekends. It doesn't work. Trust me. Students get overwhelmed. They get stressed. Um, you know, why isn't Cindy answering me because she's watching the Cowboy game? Um, you know, so definitely work a few problems uh, each day 
and then that way you have time to soak it in, retain it for your quizzes and of course your test. And so it mentions here, everything's in my stat lab. So the total, here's the breakdown of the assignments. You have 12 homeworks, five quizzes, three tests, and then a final exam for a total of a thousand points. So a normal grading scale, 90, okay, in this case, 900%. Okay, so if we count this as a percentage, but as points, that would earn you an A, 800 to 890 would be a B and so on. Um, here is the actual, I probably would print this out. You know, you could highlight this and move it to a Word document, but so you can keep up with everything. You know, you already have the first week, look at here, you got to introduce yourself. There's a discussion area and then you have to finish your first assignment. So, and, and that's over two chapters, but you're going to see those two chapters are pretty, will go pretty fast. But you have everything broken down with due dates. And I remind you, every the Sunday before that week, so in other words, on Sunday, October 7th, I will send you reminders out about week four. And so keep, you know, keep up with everything. You can't fall behind in a course like this. And then once again, your final exam must be completed by Thursday, 12, 13. And a lot of these places, you're not going to be able to go at midnight, right? So you're going to have to figure out where you're going to go and, and how you can actually um, do this. They, As I said, you'll see a list of all the different opportunities. You can take it at home and have it proctored, um, you know, through a camera system if you have that as well. All right. And then I kind of leave it up to you, you know, to go through the rest of the information here. But the big key is when you're in the course, so let's just go back to the first part of the course, is you're going to see I have everything broken down in modules by week. And don't skip around. There's a reason that there's an actual order. And so the very first thing you want to do, and I know the introductory information, there's a lot of stuff here, but you want to go through all of this, okay? Be sure and, you know, the very beginning, that's why it's here at the top, my screen's jumping around, go through all of this introductory information. So that way you can ask right away if you have any questions. Well, I don't know how to proctor. I don't know how to get uh, to my math, my stats lab. I call it my math lab a lot. Same thing, my stats lab. I don't understand the textbook, that it's an ebook, things of that sort. And so be sure you go through all of these, okay? And then you will start your week one, okay? Week one starts on Monday, September 17th. You'll go in and do your introduction. You can see that the proctor information, I give you a deadline of, of November 4th. So that gives you plenty of time and I'll be bugging you because I'll keep a list of who hasn't turned theirs in yet. But this way you can start to go through and look at all of that. And then be sure each week you look at my overview. So as I mentioned, the Sunday before, I will have like an introduction to say, oh, well, this is what we're going to do this week. And then within here, I have videos where I've worked problems out, like your homework questions. And then if you have a homework question and you're like, I don't know how to work that, all you have to do is in the lab, you'll see there's an Ask My Instructor button, and I'll do a separate My Math Lab video. And after you click on that, it'll send me your problem, and then I can do a video for it. So you're going to see I, I do a lot of videos because I don't want you to just have to read a book to learn this material, but I also need you to ask me, you know, if you're struggling, and again, not Sunday at 11.30 p.m. when it may be too late for me to make a video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the course. I can't wait to meet you all, and we'll get started on September 17th, Monday.